Hey guys, Ryan from Geek.com, and this is what you'll see the first time you connect a Chromecast to a TV. Uh, this is, of course, Google's newly announced streaming device. It's a small HDMI stick that you just uh, attach to the back of your TV, and then you power it with an included USB cable. Um, so, to set it up, you need to either go to the web address that it indicates, or you can use uh, your mobile device, a phone or a tablet, with the Chromecast app. Uh, or a desktop PC with the extension. So, what I have right here is just a Nexus 4 with the Chromecast app installed and it's found the, uh, the new device. So let's set it up real quick. And once we're done, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at a couple of functions to see how it, how it works. So you see a code popped up on the screen there. And now the phone also gets that same code. It just tells you to make sure they match. And they do, so we'll continue. And then you can name the device um, it doesn't really matter what you name it if you only have uh, the one. Uh, but you might want to pick a, a room name if you have, have multiple. Uh, so then we're going to pick uh, the network we wanted to connect to and the password. Now, uh, I have noticed that the Chromecast will automatically try to set up on whatever network you are connected to. But if you're connected to a 5 gigahertz network, uh, it seems like the Chromecast either doesn't support that uh, or it just doesn't work correctly. Uh, so you'll have to manually tell it to connect to the uh, to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz if you have a dual band uh, router. So that's what I'm doing. I I was not able to get it to connect to my 5 gigahertz end network. So we're gonna do that, and then connect, and it's gonna think for a second here. This part uh, usually takes a couple of seconds, and and sometimes it fails uh, the first time around. So we'll see if it uh, if it goes through. And this will actually disconnect your device uh, from the internet because it's going to connect directly to the Chromecast. And there we go. You see it says ready to cast. So we'll just uh, finish the setup there. And now I'm going to pull up, uh, I think I'll pull up Netflix. That's one of the apps Google uh, indicated would be compatible right off the bat. So we'll open that up. And so up at the top here, I don't know if you can, uh, you can see there is a, a Chromecast button right there. So we're going to... Uh, pull that up and see you can either play on this device or the Chromecast. We're going to pick the Chromecast. And you see the uh, the device will boot into the uh, the ne Netflix uh, screen. It's not going to start playing anything yet. Just uh, tells you, you know, where the button is. So when we play something, it should... Start buffering there, and it takes a little bit longer to buffer on the Chromecast, I've noticed, than other, uh, other devices. So, you can see there's maybe a second of delay when you, you interact with the device. So you get this uh, this nice lock screen uh, playback control there, and then you can go ahead and stop that. Now uh, I'm gonna pull up maybe play music, and we're gonna see how fast this connects. So play music is another another app with built-in support. So you can see it already is is jumping over to that interface, and see how fast this goes through. There we go. Pretty fast, actually. Yeah. And we can, uh, yeah, we can scrub through the music, and it's, yeah. If anything, it's a little bit faster than uh, than video, which I guess isn't uh, too surprising. Uh, now let's real quick try YouTube. So again, we just hit that button and select the Chromecast, and now we will. Pick a video. And play. Audacity or whatever. That's typically what I use. I just record on Audacity. Sorry. 
ど。See how fast it switches videos here. Yeah, the buffering seems to be pretty quick on YouTube. A、uh, little bit more delayed on Netflix. Yeah, it responds pretty quickly、uh, on YouTube. So now, something that I want to give,、uh, give you a look at is the,、uh, the tab casting from Desktop Chrome. I have a computer、uh, right over here, so I'm going to try to send a tab over to the Chromecast and see how it works. So you just click the extension button and then hit cast this tab. And there we go. You can't,、uh, you can't see how,、uh, how delayed this is, but there is a pretty noticeable delay.、Um, it's about two seconds from when you, you click something on your computer to when it、uh, sends the tab over. And of course, this is、uh, clipping out all of the Chrome UI and all the Windows stuff. You're only seeing the content.、Uh, so this is useful, actually. For sending video、uh, that isn't supported by a native app. So I've got a,、uh, a Hulu video up here. So we're going to see how this works. So you can full screen it.、Um, playback is fairly smooth. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this side by side with the actual、uh, playback window. So, I mean, the, the delay is, is obvious, but、um, it's slightly more pixelated, and I would say the frame rate is just a little bit lower.、Um, but it's not a dramatic difference. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. It's actually clearing up a little bit、uh, as it goes on. So, yeah, so that's a pretty handy feature. The Chromecast setup is fast.、Uh, most of the time, every now and then, there's a little, a little hitch with,、uh, for example, 5 gigahertz networks. Um, but the apps seem to work pretty well. I'm excited to see more developers build this in. I think that for $35, bucks,、uh, this is a pretty cool device. So、uh, thanks for watching, guys.